Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is remove k digits and it is a medium level problem. So the problem says that we have been given a non-negative integer s and it has been represented as a string. We have to remove exactly k digits from the given number so that the new number is as small as possible. Right. And the initial number does not contain any leading zeros that uh, they have given us. So this problem is more of a constructive problem that we have to solve and does not include any special standard data structural algorithm but it's just uh, thinking about the problem logically. So let us see how we can solve this particular problem. Let us consider the first test case itself 149811. So we have this test case 149811 and then we have been given the value of k is equals to 3. That means we can remove exactly 3 digits from this particular string in order to make it the smallest string possible right so how do we actually do it the very first thing is let's say you have n digits right and you want to remove k digits so one thing is for sure that my final string will be of size n minus k so out of this particular string i have to make a substring of or subsequence of size n minus k which is as small as possible this is my first observation but when i look at the second test case if you look here 1002991 so 1 0 0 2 9 9 1 and the value of k is equal to 3. So the number of digits here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 minus 3. So this will be 4 digits right that basically means that the final answer should at least have 4 digits. Is that entirely true in this particular case that is not true why because let us say I remove only one digit that is the one from the front. So let us say I remove this one. Now these zeros will become leading zeros, right? These zeros will become leading zeros and they will not affect my final value. If I just remove this single one, my final value will be 2991. So you see, with the help of just one operation or removing one digit from the front, I was able to reduce the length of the string by three, right? So this is one and these two get automatically reduced, right? So this is one very important observation about this particular problem. That if there are any zeros here such that you can remove all the numbers before it then these zeros will automatically get removed and this operation will always will always be our most priority right because now let's say if by one operation reduce the length by three for the remaining numbers you can make two more operations and instead of making the length equals to four by doing total of three operations we can now make a string of length two right so once we finally know that we can make a string of length let's say 2 or in any general case x and we have k operations to do it then we can apply our algorithm to it but before that we want to minimize this value of x right and that we can do by removing these zeros in between. So how do we actually solve this particular part? So the way I did it was let's say we initialize a last variable so last is going to be a pair it is going to store two things. So the first thing is what is the starting point of the string in this case it is 0 and what are the number of removals left in this case it is k right. So now what I do I start from the beginning right I start from the beginning and keep on removing characters. So when I reach this particular position I, I know that I have removed one character that means the value of k instead of being 3 it has now become 2 right. Now uh, since I have encountered a 0 this operation should be given the most priority. So no matter what my value of k is right now, if it is greater than or equals to 0, what I am going to do, I am going to remove these two zeros, right. Now I need here and as soon as I encounter even a single 0 in between, that means I will always be in benefit because I can remove this 0 for free, right. So now I come to this particular position, I am going to update my last variable as, so what is this position 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is the third index and the value of k is original k minus 1 right so it can be anything here but uh, let us just write the value so k was initially 3 so now it is going to be 2 here it was 3 as well so here it was 3 and now it is going to be 2 right so what I am trying to say is now I am going to start my operations or my any algorithm from this index only because I know I was able to perform only one operation and remove three digits so this is one thing that I am always going to do and now I am going to start any of the other operations from this particular index and if I start from here my value of k is equal to 2 right. So let us just extend this particular test case. So let us say 1 0 0 and then we had 2 z, uh, 2 
9000 right and then let's say 1 2 3 so if we had this particular thing now our last is index 3 that is here and our value of k is equal to 2 so now what we will do we will move on further and when we come here we realize that our value of k has been reduced to 0 because this has to be removed this has to be removed in order to reach here but now we have encountered another 0 so what we will do let's say this is index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so now i am going to update my last variable as i am at index 8 i have to start from index 8 and interestingly my k has now become 0 right so we have removed a total of 3 digits but in in the final answer we were able to make a difference of 3 4 5 6 7 8 digits right by removing only 3 digits we were able to make a difference of 8 digits so this operation is always our utmost priority right now these 1 to 3 will be our final answer in this particular case so we are going to maintain this last variable this is actually going to denote when was the last when was the last point when we encountered a couple of zeros and then after that particular point we have to start our calculations from this particular index with the value of k assuming to be this particular value right now let's say we have figured all of this out so let's say there were some zeros that we have already removed in front of it and now this is our final string that we want to deal with right from now from here on the part will be the same for the remaining problem so from here my value of k is equal to 3 that means i can remove at most 3 digits right so how will i do it you will see that whenever i get some kind of problem like this and i want to minimize the number it is always optimal to remove those numbers after which the number decreases let me tell you what i'm trying to say so let's say you write 81 right so let's say this is some ith position and this is some i plus 1th position if you remove this particular number 8 one will take one will take its place right and one will come at the ith position i don't care what is after it but one will definitely come at ith position this place has a higher place value and if i put 8 here it is going to be a greater number so if a number smaller after 8 comes after it then it makes sense to remove this particular number so that this smaller number can take its place so whenever a case like this happens the overall number will always become smaller but let's say it was the opposite one was at the ith position and 8 was at the i plus 1th position so if i remove this particular number 8 will come at such position and the final value will actually become greater so for now it might seem like that 18 is greater than 8 right so if i remove 1 it will it should become equals to 8 but this is not entirely true if you look at the bigger picture you are going to remove exactly k digits right so at the end you are going to get n minus k digits no matter which number you remove right so here it is here it is the case that from two digits we went to one digit because i am taking a very small example but in the final answer you will always have these fixed number of digits right so um, let me just give you one more example by doing this so let's say we have three and then we have four right at the ith position i have three at the i plus one th position i have four if i remove this particular number a greater number will take its place which i definitely don't want because it will make the number greater right now if four was here and three was here i and i plus one are the positions so now in this particular case whatever i want to do is i would want to make this smaller number takes take its particular place so for that i'll have to remove this particular number so basically what we are going to do we can maintain some kind of a stack so let's say we have one and then four and then nine and then eight right we have these numbers right so we keep on pushing the elements on the stack until the top of the stack is less than equal to the next element right so one uh, so for example 4 is greater than 1 so that is correct 9 is greater than 4 that is correct but as soon as we come here we see that 8 is smaller than 9 so that is not something we want so in this particular case what we will do we will pop this particular 9 and put 8 insert in place of it right so this basically means we have removed this particular 9 from our sequence now 4 and 8 is correct this order is correct but the next number is 1 so 1 is smaller than 8 that is not acceptable so i remove 8 remember again i have performed two operations till now by removing 9 and now by removing 8 i still have one operation left now i again see that 1 is also smaller than 4 
that is also not acceptable that is why you see i am maintaining a stack to maintain the last element and the next element after it right so i remove 4 as well so now this 4 will also be removed and 1 is equal to 1 so that is not an issue i insert a 1 here and i insert a 1 here right so in this way the final answer will be 1 1 1 but you have to be very careful this is the last position so this should be 0 1 and 2 so if you pop the elements let's say this is 1 c 1 b 1 a right you if you pop the elements like this and insert it into a string it will be 1c then 1b and then 1a then you will have to reverse the string to get the original order that is 1a 1b and 1c right so this is something i wanted to discuss now there might also be a case when you have reached the end of the string but you still have some k left here our k was equal to 0 but it might also be possible that you have reached the end of the string and there is still some k left in that particular case, if you have made all the necessary operations and there is still some k left, you will realize that your final array or your final position will always be in increasing order. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right. If there is still some k left, your final uh, stack will always look like this, where this is the top, right. So, now if your like array uh, or your stack is always increasing and you still have some k left, you want to remove some digits from here it is always optimal to remove digits from the end, right. And it is not very difficult to see that uh, it is always optimal to do this. For example, if I remove 7, it will be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But let us say I remove 1, it will be equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this number is clearly smaller than this particular number, right. If, what I am saying is, if at the end, if you have finished that string and there are still some k left, you are always going to remove from the back, right. This is the only thing that you needed to understand in this particular problem. Now you see there is like apart from this particular thing which I believe is something that you must have encountered in certain other problems and this is like quite standard when you have like when you want to remove k digits and uh, you want to make this thing as small as possible. This is somewhat standard because I have personally seen it in many places but the overall problem I believe is very constructive does not improve does not involve any special algorithm or data structure. Right. So, this is how you can solve this particular problem. Now, let us have a look at the final code. So, you see the code is uh, uh, decently sized. Now, what I have done is, I first of all initialize the last pair. So, this is going to store what is the position that I have to start from and what is the value of k that I currently have. Right. I have initialized the size of the string with n and I have initialized my index with 0. So, while index is 0, basically I am just, uh, while index is less than n, I am just traversing through the string. If s of index is not equal to a 0 and the value of k is still greater than 0, I can perfectly remove this particular number by decrementing k and then uh, incrementing my index. If my k becomes equal to 0, then there is no point continuing from here, I can just break out from here. Otherwise, what I will do, if the current string is 0 or the current character is 0, I am going to uh, like go through all the zeros, right. So, while index is less than n and s of index is equal to 0, I am going to update my index and I am going to set my last as index comma k. Right. So, I believe that if even if you do not write it here, you can clearly write it afterwards. This is also correct. Right. Because uh, all the zeros that you remove will be free of cost and you do not uh, and you do would not want to update this uh, last again and again. You would just want to increment the index. So, this new index will be the position where I want to start my new traversal from with a new value of k. So, how is this the new value? Because you see I have already decremented k here. So, this will be the updated value of k. Now, I have created a stack of numbers. Now, uh, what I do, I take the starting point with the help of the pair and its first part and I take the new value of k as last dot second, right. So, I start my traversal from here till i is less than n and i plus plus. So, while all of these conditions are satisfied, let us see what are the conditions. First of all, that the nums stack should have at least one element that is num dot size should be greater than, greater than 0. Nums dot top is greater than the current element. That means my current element is greater than the last element, next element and my k is still greater than 0, right. When all of these conditions are satisfied, I would want to make one operation and remove the top of the stack, right. So, I decrement k and I pop the element and in the next step what I do, I just push the current element into my stack, right. Now, if there are still some k left and my nums or size is greater than equal to 0, right, uh, that means there are still some elements nums out there is greater than 0 that means there are still some elements in the stack what I am going to do I am going to pop the last element from the stack. Now I have initialized my answer with 0 and I am going to just add all of the values into my answer and remove the last element from the stack. Since this is a stack I have to reverse the my answer 
and at the end i also have to take care of if my answer is an empty string that means i was able to remove all the digits my answer should be equals to zero right i should not be returning an empty string instead i should be returning zero so i just return answer from here so let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is correct so you see this passes all the test cases and this solution is absolutely correct i hope you guys that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and you will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems so that is it for today till the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye